Bonnie Greer was the star guest at IIPN's annual conference in Westminster, where she spoke about her question time statement that made her beloved by Irish people everywhere. I, 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 well, it's just, yeah, but it's just such a shock in a way because I thought, I, you know, when you're on that show, you're talking into talking to that audience, and it's a small audience, and it's a sort of a hall, and I just went back to my hotel after that and went, got in, into Liverpool Lime Street, and all these people walked up to me in the train station. So it was quite a surprise. It's still a surprise. Still a surprise. Have you got a bit of a reaction from the English side to your statements? Did they get a wake-up call? No, I don't think so, but then they can just sort of bury it, you know. I mean, some people did, and they followed me on Twitter, but I don't think the press covered it. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think growing, being born and growing up in Chicago, which is a big Irish town, and being raised Roman Catholic, so my teachers were Irish-American, of course. Uh, so that whole link has always been there for me. Um, I hope the Irish stay European. I hope they stay staunch about being in Europe. And I think in a way, I hope in a way, that it gives them a stronger sense of who they are in the world. I hope so. I mean, I think people do have it, but I think the British need to understand it, that, that Ireland is Europe and, and a big player in that sense. Anglophone, important, important for commerce, culture, and everything else. So I hope that the, the United Kingdom actually comes to understand their neighbor on the west and what that means Europe on the west and Ireland on the west and I mean you've got to be you've got to go to Ireland since then and was that amazing to even get the oh, get yeah. that oh yeah I went we went I was given a tour of the Abbey and it's very very moving for me my background's in theater so it's very moving for me very moving so you plan to see a lot more of Ireland absolutely absolutely if I can I'd love to designer Paul Costello was also there to speak about his career that includes dressing Princess Diana. Yes, it was a real pleasure. I enjoyed the, um, telling them my history how I've, about survival and keeping going and staying on the horse and, and um, just don't fall off <laughs> and keep believing in yourself. That's exactly. the hard part. No, no, I think we're, we're all very upfront. Um, you just tell it as it is and don't pretend it's any greater than than what you had for breakfast and um, just just the uh, fashion industry is a very global industry and you know you can be found out very easily so you're much better off playing the low key side and um, and then have expectations but um, if they happen they happen I mean do you reflect on your achievements I mean Princess Diana say and what that did for you? Do you reflect on things like that? It, um, it uh, what, what within the Princess Diana con con context, context, I've lived on that for a long time, so it's nearly a bit, I have to move on, uh, and uh, that's the hard part. Um, but, um, you know, I'm ready for another challenge, and um, maybe something the Roy might still be interested in, Paul Costello tailoring, because we are probably one of the best tailors in ladieswear in the UK and Ireland. The sustainability issue, the, the recycling thing, is that yeah. becoming more and more something you have to think about? Yes, it's becoming very important, the, the recycling, the, where the yarns are from, how it's spun, etc, etc. And of course, as I said, it's, it's coming into our diets as well. It's um, the, 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 the whole uh, fact of, um, of um, toxic fibres, etc. One, one, one really has to know where and, where and from who it's coming from. And, um, but um, when, when, if there's a recession, that can all go out the door. Because people need food, they need money. And uh, sometimes these very worthy causes can diminish somewhat in times of recession. How big has Brexit weighed on your mind, personally? It, it hasn't bothered me, it has annoyed me more. I think it's a, just a disgraceful behaviour by all these politicians, whether it's Labour or Conservative or Liberal. But, but then we talked recession and I heard th this morning that Germany is going to go into recession. You know, and who would ever expect Germany to go into recession? So uh, we, we need to be prepared not to be too confident, rather like the Irish rugby thing. You know, uh, we we are like the English team, uh, and and go by our instincts. Um, it's a very exciting time, uh, but we must be prepared. Mm -hmm.